What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is going to be on this Mercury Mountaineer and as you guys can tell this vehicle has been sitting for quite some time. I'm not exactly sure why because everything on this vehicle seems to work perfectly fine so I'm not sure why they parked it for such a long time. But either way this vehicle is going to make for amazing transformation so make sure you guys watch the entire video. Also if you guys are new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content. We have a ton of stuff coming soon along with a huge, moldy, disgusting party bus that is absolutely insane, so you guys will not want to miss that. But either way, we're going to roll these before shots and get right into this disaster detail. first step of this detail will be getting all this mildew removed and for this I'm using our extreme APC followed by a pressure washer and the reason why I'm using the extreme APC first is it really helps to remove a lot of that stuff with ease as you guys can see I'm just barely lightly going over the paint with a pressure washer and if I was just using the pressure washer alone you have the chance of it leaving streaks and a lot of it not coming off so that's why I use them as a combo instead of just using the pressure washer alone.
Moving on to the wheels, I will be using our pressure washer to loosen up all the dirt and debris. And I'll be using our extreme APC on the tires and fender wells. And for the wheels, I'll be using our mad acid. I normally always do the wheels first, but for this vehicle, I did them last. And the reason is I kept chasing the shade because for some reason the it looked better on camera for removing the mildew when it was in the shade. So the sun kept going in and going out. So that's the reason why I just saved the wheels for last. That way, whenever the shade came out, I could film another panel and so on and so on. Now that the vehicle has been fully prepped, it's time to move on to washing the vehicle. And for this, I'm using our foam cannon with our super blue soap. Then I'll be using our mad detailing boar's hair brushes to get in all the emblems and everywhere that I can't get into with my wash mitt. Now that the vehicle has been properly washed, I'm using our mad detailing iron eraser to safely and easily remove all this deeply embedded iron contamination on this paint. As you guys can tell, there is a ton on this vehicle. So the iron eraser is gonna make quick work of that. Also, before I polish the vehicle later on in the video, I clay barred as well, just because the contamination on this paint was insane. Moving on to the interior of this vehicle, I'm going to first be removing all the floor mats and all the loose trash and debris, anything that is too big to be sucked up by the vacuum. And then I'm going to give the carpet a nice pre-vacuum and get it ready for the extraction later on in the video. Also didn't pull the carpet out of this vehicle just because it wasn't necessary. This vehicle was not bad at all on the inside. There was no case of any type of water that got into the vehicle and caused any moisture or mildew, which is normally the case when a vehicle sits for this long but in this case, the vehicle had absolutely none.
Moving on to the interior panels of this vehicle, I'll be using our Extreme APC followed by our detail brushes, and then I'll be using a steamer to make sure I remove all the contamination and just helps loosen up all the nasty makeup, anything that's on the surface. Then I'll be using a microfiber to mop everything up and I'll be using our air hose to blow out all the cracks. A lot of people ask, does it push it further into it? And no, it doesn't. A lot of everything you see that's electrical is actually sealed. A lot of people are gonna come and say it's not, but it is. So what I'm doing is actually blowing the rest that I can't get out with the microfiber because if not, it'll dry in the cracks and you'll just see nasty gooeyness coming out of it later on. So that's why I always use the air hose when I'm done.
The reason why I'm doing the carpet extraction and not the seats first, because the back seats actually have to be locked in place before they'll flip back up. So yeah, that is why I'm doing the carpet extraction first. But for the carpet extraction, I'm using our Extreme APC as a cleaner, followed by a drill brush. And then for the extractor, I'm using a Mighty HP 60 extractor. And I'm gonna repeat the same process on the rest of the carpet.
for the leather seats, I'm using our Mad Detailing Leather Cleaner. And then I'm using our Mad Detailing Boys Hair Brushes to agitate the surface. And then I'm gonna wipe that away with a microfiber towel. And then to condition the seats, I'm using our Mad Detailing Leather Conditioner. If you guys would like to pick up any of the products that I use in my videos, the link will be down in the description along with the coupon code. Now that I'm done with the interior of this vehicle, it's time to move back onto the outside. And the first thing I'm gonna be doing is clay barring the vehicle. And for this, I'm using a synthetic clay bar. And for the clay lube, I'm using our Mad Detailing Slick Coat diluted 10 to 1. And to polish the vehicle, I'm using my Rupes 21 polisher with a polishing pad. And for the polish, I'm using HD Speed, which is actually an all-in-one. So that means it's gonna remove light swirls and scratches. It's gonna polish the paint, and it's also gonna leave behind a good protection. If you guys are wanting to make your vehicle look good at home, but you're not wanting to do a full paint correction, I highly suggest checking out. I highly recommend checking out HD Speed. It's made by 3D. It's an amazing product. It's super easy to use, you can use it in the sun. And for just doing a full detail or just giving the paint a nice shine and protection, it is a really good product. Mm -hmm. 